Welcome to Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, a black and gold mosh pit where the Hawkeyes are ready to swarm. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Oregon Ducks, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Iowa Hawkeyes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Here's the return from inside his tent. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Oregon Ducks offense will take the first swing of the game. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese, and it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take it. And the ball comes out. What a disaster. Loose ball squirting all over the place, and it went out of the back of the end zone. That'll be a safety. Yeah, and sometimes you get confused and you get lost when you're on the field, but not that far. And, and I just, I don't know how to explain this. I would love to give you words and, and break this down and be like, this is what he was thinking. I don't know what he was thinking. So after giving up the deuce on the safety, now they'll be able to kick it away without a rush from the 20. Catches it at the 15. So the Iowa Hawkeyes offense has the ball for the first time. And these guys involve everybody in the passing game and none more prominent than this big fella. And the quarterback knows he's going to be under duress in this game. So who do you look for? The tight end. And there aren't many better than this guy. No, and just big bodies that you can miss a little bit high, and it really doesn't matter. But over the middle of the field, closer throws, so nice to have a security blanket with a great tight end. On second down, they'll take to the air. Got it set up on the outside. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. The sure hands, it's Brown. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. And the Hawkeyes getting set on first and 10. They'll give it to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And he just threw that one away. Safe move. Didn't see anything. Lived to play another play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. It's complete on the right side. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. He got a little antsy at the line of scrimmage, and they'll move him back. Full start. Full start. Full start. Full start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Line gets set, first down. They're going to run it. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. And as a defense, you have to be aware. Just because this guy lines up all the way to the right, that doesn't mean he's going to run routes all the way across your face. They lost track of him. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Iowa! That was a great example of a running back toting the rock with conviction. There's not a lot of time to hesitate. If you see a split second, you see a hole, you've got to hit it right now. Nice job by the RB there. Lining 
up for the PAT. The extra point is good, and they have a nine-point lead. They march 78 yards down the field and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency. Here. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. Using his legs, it's James. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. It'll be a draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Ball's at the 27. His offense facing a third and long. Moore will throw. Fires to the wideout. And they fail to hook up on third down. And the Ducks will try to pin them back with the punt. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Iowa has the ball back on offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David. Just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Movement on the offensive line. That's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. False start. False start. False start. False start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Off the play fake on first down. Makes the grab. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Now after the short completion, it's second down. Off play action. Feeling some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it. Got in the backfield. Got the big play. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Trying to get to it. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all Don means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big, athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. The Hawkeyes will line up to punt it away. Makes a move. Just a wall of defenders everywhere he looks, and he's guided out of bounds after a short return. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Moore to the air. Fires complete on the crosser. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Give to the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. Pulls and fired complete. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. The Ducks will snap it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Gets away. Had to throw it before he wanted. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. The gift to the back. 
jukes his way for more. And a good pick up there. They'll move the sticks for a first down. Let's see if they try to get another snap before the quarter expires. It's the end of the first quarter, and now time for one of the great traditions in college football, when the entire crowd here in Iowa City will turn and give a wave to the children at the University of Iowa, Stead Family Children's Hospital. Everyone engaged, and we wave and salute those kids and wish them all the best. Always a treat to be here in Iowa and take part in a special moment. Hope these kids enjoy the rest of the game as we play on into the second quarter. Might as well give it to him again. This new Big Ten is balanced and deep, and you're not going to get many mulligans. You're going to need to get off to a quick start. And it's going to be a physical grind ahead. You look at the schedule for these teams, it's brutal. Each and every week, you are going to get tested. So it's important they get off to a really fast start. They've got to come out, pick everything they did on the practice field this offseason, and let these guys go play. Yeah, and you got to let it rip, man, because that, that's always your first goal, right? We talk about conference championships, winning your... He makes a grab, and he will score! Touchdown, Oregon! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game, getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Now, we'll hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge, and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's recap that ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup that has just gone final. LSU had a dominant win, the kind the folks in Baton Rouge were used to in 2019 when Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and Justin Jefferson led the Tigers to a national title. Talk about a special team. Always interesting to see ranked teams collide, and today was no different. The agony and ecstasy of college football, fellas. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. And listen, you get zone coverage, and you can hit that curl route, and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. The Ducks have it in scoring position on first and goal. Moore will throw. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. And the D deny them on second and goal. From the gun, running back gets to give. Relentless tough running gets it down to the four. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Almost intercepted in the end zone, and what a red zone stop that would have been. It'll be fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. 
That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. They'll try the run. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Movement here from the tight end. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And the Hawkeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. First play of this drive comes from the 27. Moore to the air. Zings it complete to the right. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. They go to the ground. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. And the Ducks want to pick up the tempo. The Ducks trying to win the day by running for another first down. Run the football. It's always been the staple. We can go back as far as you want with Oregon teams. The ones that were good, they were built on the running of the football, the physicalness. Run the ball, baby. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. The Ducks will have it first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Just missed his man. Gave him just a little too much. After the incompletion, here comes second and ten from the 32. Takes the handoff. It's James. At the 20, he's got space. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Nowhere close on that one as he got 12 trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And he's already put one three spot on the board. He'll try another one from 25 yards out. That is no good. And the lead remains at one after the miss. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Iowa has the ball back on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. To the air on first down. Fires to the big fella. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. On second down, he'll let it fly. Fires to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Caught near the sticks. It's Anderson. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. The Hawkeyes headed quickly to the line. Man, it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. 
That's yeah, caught. It's Brown. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Now on first down after that completion. He's looking to throw it. Dumps it to the back. Never breaks stride. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawkeye! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. The returner's going to try to see what he can get. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Grab behind the line. It's James. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Moore will throw. Pressure coming. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got great speed. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Offense getting set for first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. He's going to let it go. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Fires to the middle. He's got it. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Hoffman. The offense burns its third and final timeout of the half. And in the waning seconds of the first half, they'll try to put up three before going to the break. This is going to be a 46-yard field goal attempt. Field goal is good. They'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. Played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. One of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Iowa City. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys? and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. With that said, let's kick it back to the guys inside Kinnick Stadium. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. And the returner goes down. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answer is. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. 
And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. And the Hawkeyes will call on their punt team. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. They'll put it in play from the 36 for the first play of the drive. Quarterback on the keeper. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. The Ducks are in the hurry up. Trying play action. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. More to the air. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And the Ducks will punt this one away. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin them back deep in their own end. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Iowa has the ball back on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. They'll try to get it through the air. Grabs it in the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Leaves it with the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. He'll pull it on the read. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Third down, and they'll need to get the ball to the 38-yard line. Looking to throw. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. They're going to send out the field goal unit, and that kicker will have to launch a rocket. No good. Could have stretched the lead out there, but guys, it's still sitting at nine. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Moore will throw, getting some heat. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll live to fight another play. It'll be third down. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple. He's got it inside the 30. Flying down the right side. Touchdown, Ducks! And once he found daylight, it was Katie Bar the door, baby. And how about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense. Number three is coming soon. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Stanford overcame a sloppy start and just put the finishing touches on a notable road win. And to pick yourself up and dust yourself off away from Palo Alto, this Cardinal team has to be thrilled with this result. The circle of life in college football where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. 
Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Throws to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. The Hawkeyes send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Moore to the air. Fires to the big fella. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Second and short now after that completion. Now the play fake. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. The Ducks come to the line with a new set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws to the tight end. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Oregon! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. He has been surgical. Precision passes using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Going up top on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Give to the single back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you've already set your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Unloads to the wideout. He's open on the right. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple of shorter throws, just trying to suck those safeties close to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. And when you're a quarterback, man, I know wide receivers are great athletes and they're supposed to catch everything that gets near them, but when you don't put it right on the center, when they're running a lot of times, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. And I think he did that a little bit too much for his wide receiver right there. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Third and short, coming from the 34, you wonder if this is four down territory. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was and they stopped him short. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal, showing off that powerful leg. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He's bringing it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And or 
Morgan has it back, and here comes the offense. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. After the misfire, it's second down. Moore will throw. Takes the easy throw in the flat. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Toss sweep right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Ducks will punt it away on fourth down. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Pretty solid coverage there. and They'll stop him at the 26. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. They're trying to get to it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. Man, come on now. O-line, you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. And the Hawkeyes will Number send nine. out the punt unit. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here for them. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. And he delivers the blow, and he's still running. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. Fresh legs, man, and it is showing, of course. This team had the bye last week, and you're seeing it right now late in the game, running the football, imposing their will against the defense that looks tired. Of course, they had to play last week, and, and you're seeing that right now. They'll throw it on first down. Just gets rid of the football. Nobody to throw it to. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. More to the air. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Pocket starts to collapse. Oh, man, another incompletion. That's three in a row. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It is true as he puts three on the board. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Iowa has the ball back on offense. 
They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. It'll be third and short from their own 33. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. The Hawkeyes will line it up on first and ten. He's going to pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. You know, this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. They're going to throw it again. Quickly to the tight end. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big throw. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. Discards a man. Pulled down at the 29 after getting five. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Makes his connection. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. Can't hang on in the end zone, and that one is going to drive him crazy when he watches it. It'll be third down. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. They got him. It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on downs. He had nowhere to go with the football. Fourth down, you know he wants to make a play. I'd like for him to throw it up, to be honest. Try to give somebody an opportunity to make a play. Who cares if I throw a pick? It's fourth down anyways, but couldn't find anybody to get the ball off. Defense surrounds him, gets him to the ground with the sack. The defense will have to key on the run and try to get this ball back. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. No reason to do anything here except keep it on the ground on second and five. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. And off from the shotgun. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Here's an interception. Oh, did they need that turnover? And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. That's what I'm talking about. What a clutch play. You had to have a play on defense. You needed to get the ball back to your offense, forcing the interception, forcing them to throw the football late in the game. Nice job by this defense. Let's give the offense a turn. Iowa 
Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down, finding positive. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points, but they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He wants to throw. Makes the grab. Oh, and he thought he had a chance to house him, but the defense tackles him at the three. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. On second down, wants to throw. It's complete. Touchdown, Iowa. And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Really good execution by this offense. Late in the game, under a minute, score to take the lead. It's what you draw up. It's what you dream about. But now, my defense has to go on the field and get me one more stop. Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. Wide receiver shows motion. He wants to throw it. Pass is incomplete. No good on the two-point conversion. They tried to stretch his lead out to a field goal, but they're still up by one. He'll start the return inside his five. He just about popped that one for a long one, but as it is, he gives his team a lot of momentum with a solid return. Moore will throw. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Remember, all they have to do is get it close enough for a field goal here. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Got it in the middle. It's Stewart. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered. An explosive play to the 40. Off play action on first down. Hey, nice job by the offense there attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback putting it right on his gut. They'll run play action. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They get the timeout call with seven seconds left on the clock. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. It's good. They have taken the lead in the final seconds, guys, and the celebration has erupted on the sideline. You can't say enough about this kid's poise. You're playing on the road. The crowd's going crazy, willing you to miss this kick, but he stayed dialed in. Puts it through the upright, David, to give his team the lead here late. It's crazy because it's nerve-wracking. You put your body on the line for so long, and then it comes down to a kick. And he has to be clutch in a hostile environment, and he comes through for his squad. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. Wants to throw on first down. And down he goes. Had a chance to pull one out of the fire, and the defense slammed the brakes on it, and that's going to do it.
that was fun and it was big time and it is a confidence builder to come through waning moments and win a game like that confidence builder dream maker right those are the things you dreamed about in the backyard throwing it up with the clock running down you're going to make the play to win your offense is going to come through in the clutch jesse that's exactly what they did no doubt about it david that's a tough situation to be in there's so much pressure on these individual players to have to step up and have to make that big play but you could see the belief they had in each other the respect they have for each other and now moving forward this is a huge confidence builder for this team that's going to do it for us for jesse palmer david pollock our entire broadcast team i'm reese davis this has been another presentation of ea sports college football